Now to get started with this tutorial, we're going to create a boilerplate application using Create React App. This application is going to be nothing fancy. It's, there's going to be no CSS. And it's just going to be a simple application where an employer can manage their employees and see how many, how many hours each one of them has worked. Uh, we're also going to be using TypeScript. And we do this because we can take advantage of the decorator option that is used in MobX React. If you don't know TypeScript, don't worry. Just follow along. There's just a few small differences, and it shouldn't be too high of a learning curve. So to get started, um, go to your integrated terminal and type in npx create react app, and then whatever name you want to name the application. For me, I'm going to do mobx state tree tutorial. And then at the very end, I'm going to add a flag for TypeScript. And that's just dash dash TypeScript. And hit enter. And let that run. OK, that just finished. So let's go ahead and navigate into the directory. Uh, do cd mobx state tree tutorial, or whatever you name the application. And then once you're in there, go ahead and run, go ahead and install your dependencies. So you'll either run yarn or npm install. For me, I'm using yarn. So just type in yarn. Now that that is done, we then want to add our mobx dependencies. And there's three of them we're going to use. We'll add yarn, add mobx, mobx react, and mobx state tree. Hit enter. And the typings are included in these libraries, so you don't have to install any external type libraries. So now that that is done, we want to add in another library called UUID. This library just gives us uh, unique identifiers for our employee nodes that we use later. We'll also have to add the typings for this library. So do yarn add at types slash UUID dash capital D to add it as a dev dependency. And run that. Now our application should be created. So now we can go ahead and add it to our code editor. So go ahead and, and remove out of this integrated terminal. Just give us some more real estate. And go to Add Folder. And let's look up the folder uh, in our um, browse window. So um, for me, I'll just add it here. And I'll expand this out. And there's a few things we'll have to change in here in order to get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is go to tsconfig.json. And there's one property that we want to add in here in order to use decorators. Um, so just really add in a line anywhere and type in experimental decorators, like so, and set the equal to true. I'll save that. And we should be good to go with decorators now. Um, next, let's go into SRC and go into app.tsx. And we're just going to clean this up a bit. Um, let's go ahead and remove everything within this first div. And this div, we really don't need a class name, so just go ahead and remove that. And let's just create one item here called uh, with a paragraph tab and just type in like hi there just to verify that everything works. Um, before we actually run this, let's go ahead and we'll need to convert this from a stateless functional component into a class component. Um, there's reasons for that later on in this tutorial, so let's just go ahead and do it now. So I'll say class app, and I'll make this extend react.component, and remove the arrow function, and just use the class decoration. And we're going to have to add in a render method. And let's just um, take our return statement and just plop it into our render method, like so. Um, let's go ahead and give this guy a constructor. And we'll just give it a blank state for now. 
And there's two small TypeScript things that I'm going to do, um, but don't worry if you're you know um, not familiar with the syntax. Uh, just copy it down and um, don't worry about it for now. So I'll just type in interface props, um, and I'll just leave that blank for now. And I'll type in interface state, and I'll also leave that blank. And you're just going to pass these in through um, this these arrow brackets here. And that, that essentially is adding typings to our component. Um, we'll need these later, but for now, um, just sorry, um, just uh, just copy these for now. Uh, so go ahead and save that. And let's go ahead and run this just to make sure that it's everything is set up appropriately. So reopen your integrated terminal and um, just do yarn run start. And then open up your uh, browser window, or this should actually be opened automatically, and just make sure that it says hi there. Um, if it has, then we should be good to go. If not, you have to do a little bit of troubleshooting in order to get it to work. Um, so that's our, our, our base um, application setup. There's a few more things we'll do in order to hook up MobX, but we'll go ahead and do that in the next video. See you then.